Hey guys, this is Officer Smith, and I'm a police officer for the Town of Thermopolis Police Department. As many of you guys know, it's a police officer's job to protect and serve and help people. And we love to do that. But today we're going to do something just a little different. Today, I'm going to be reading you a book. And instead of the old tale that we all know as Mother Goose, I'm going to be reading a book called Mother Bruce. This book is by Ryan T. Higgins. Bruce was a bear who lived all by himself. He was a grump. He did not like sunny days, and he did not like the rain. He did not like cute little animals. Bruce only liked one thing, eggs. He collected them from all over the forest. But Bruce didn't eat eggs raw like other bears. Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes that he found on the internet. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard-boiled goose eggs drizzled in a honey salmon sauce. So he went out to get the ingredients. First, he caught a few salmon. Then he collected honey from a local beehive. He liked to support local businesses, you see. Last, he went to Mrs. Goose's nest to pay her a visit. He asked her, are these eggs free range organic? At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for hard boiling, but the fire in his stove fizzled. So he went out to get more wood. But when Bruce came back, he was met with an unwelcome surprise. Mama, the little goslings cried. Bruce became the victim of a mistaken identity. Bruce wanted hard boiled eggs, not goslings. He supposed he could settle for buttered goslings on toast, but for some reason he lost his appetite. Bruce scooped up the little geese and stomped back to their nest. I will have to ask Mrs. Goose about her return policy, he wondered to himself. Only to find that Miss Goose had flown south early. Bruce left the goslings there anyway and went back home. Mama, they cried. He was followed. Bruce was very stern and said things like, go away. And I'm not your mother. And also, I liked you better when you were eggs. Roar, he cried. Bruce could take it no longer and became extra grumpy with them. It didn't work. Goslings always follow their mother. Even if she is a he and he is a bear. You can see they're following him all over the forest. in the trees and everywhere else. Bruce was stuck with them. He tried to make the best of it by getting them into the pool. It was hard work trying finger paints with them. They cried and slept with him. As the seasons passed, Bruce watched the pesky goslings grow older. From annoying baby geese, to stubborn teenage geese, to boring adult geese. Then one fall afternoon, he saw other goose families flying south. Finally, he'd be rid of those geese, and he could take a long winter's nap. Bruce explained to the little goslings all about migration, but they didn't listen. Bruce needed the geese to leave, so he got creative. He tried to launch them from a rubber band. Nothing worked. The geese would not leave Bruce. Sigh, he said. So Bruce decided to pack some bags and take his geese into town. They boarded a bus. 
Then they migrated to Miami. Now every winter, Bruce and his geese head south together. They laze about at the beach in tacky shirts, sipping ice cold lemonade, while Bruce dreams of new recipes, recipes that don't hatch. And now it appears that one of the goslings has been mistaken for somebody else's mother. The end. All right, guys, I know you guys are probably getting really bored at home, but it's really important that you guys listen to your folks, do what they say. Wash your hands, cover your mouth and your nose when you sneeze or cough, okay? And if you guys see me or any of the other officers out on the street, make sure you come say hi. We love kids and we like to talk to you guys. So if you see me in the grocery store or out on the street somewhere, make sure you say what's up. Have a great day, guys. Be safe.